to Caramel Mocha Frappuccino? Yes, ma'am. All right. Anything else? That'll be all. All right. Your total is going to be 530. Thank you. Oh, I could have went to um, McDonald's and got me a whole uh, breakfast meal, but that's okay for coffee talk time. Coffee talk time. We're going to go back home, sit in front of my mirror, and talk with you guys about the goings on of the goings on of the world. Yeah. Let me pay. Let me scrounge up some change. Yes, baby. Mao. Mao. Hi, I don't know what language he's speaking today, but I understand because he's my baby. He's saying nasty, rain. See, I'm a mom. I'll meet you back in my bathroom so we can talk. Let's go. From the color purple when she swung them books around and hit Mr. in the head and said, no, I gotta go to school. It's dangerous. You're not your purse, girl, because I need to clean out my purse with all these quarters. Just quarters, quarters. I got some dollars too, but I'm about to get rid of my coins. Yes, Starbucks. Okay, to the bathroom. To the back cave. That way. No? Check, please. It's coffee talk time. Okay, so I made it back home. I'm gonna sit in front of this mirror with you guys. I don't think I'm gonna do anything too crazy with my makeup today. It's raining outside and I'm going more natural these days. I'll be wearing the Valencia wig by Tony Daly. If you guys haven't seen it, I will leave the link and put a picture up, no, here, so you guys can see what it looks like. And I will leave the link to the video of my try on and my initial thoughts, which I love it. And I'm going to be wearing it this week to come because I just want to stay out of my hair. I love my natural hair. I really want to stay out of it because when I stay out of it, I don't get scissor happy and want to cut it off and stuff. I need a little trim. Other than that, she's cute. She's cute, but I'm gonna be wearing the Valencia wig by Tony Daly for sure. First off, did I say good morning? Good morning. No. Y'all ain't ready? I felt the the rubato, rubato, rubato in my throat. Mm -hmm. Oh, this made my eye like almost clutch its pearl. Jesus, Jesus, this is life. Make you perch your lips. So today, what are we going to talk about today? Well, I took a little social media break on account of my phone being smashed to smithereens. She is here. Look at that screen. Doesn't she look brand new? Took to the Mac store, had to pay $159 plus some tax just to get her brand new, okay? And um, put another little gel cover on her. I know y'all gonna be like, girl, you need to put that out of box on. Girl, you need to do this. I don't even think it matters what I have on it because I dropped my phone so much like in one day that it's ridiculous. I can't even believe that it still makes phone calls. Oh, if you guys hear something in the background, that's the TV babysitting my kids. <laughs> okay, check please. I haven't been on Snapchat uh, or Instagram. Well, yesterday I hopped back on Instagram. Have not been on Snapchat. I would love to get like a Snapchat question going on this morning. Like, what's up? So I guess in celebrity gossip news, the goings on, the goings on, Brad and Angelina is still headed for um, unmatrimony, unweddingness, if that's a word. I hope that TV isn't too loud over there, because if it is, I got kids, and you're just gonna have to deal with it today, because it's keeping them contained, okay? And they normally cannot be contained in any container. I digress. Brad and Angelina are um, uh, getting unwed in an unmatrimony ceremony. If y'all don't know if y'all been living under a rock like me. Talking about people's marriages is a really touchy subject for me because when you don't been through a divorce, it's really touchy and I don't really like to put my mouth on other people's things. You know what I'm talking about? But the only thing that they're really fighting over is custody over the kids. They got so much money, it don't even matter. Okay, they're saying that they've got like 12 houses to divide upon, but they did have a prenup, so it doesn't matter. They're fighting over what most people fight over in a divorce, and what really makes it messy is custody. And Brad is saying, he ain't got no problem. I ain't got no problems. I only spank my kids when they talk back smack, you know? And he's really saying that Angelina is just, she's really, she really wants to be like, what is it? Um... 
a part of the United Nations. It says that Brad Pitt and Angelina's ambitious UN goals, United Nations goals, was unsafe for the kids and it really caused a rift between their parenting. Like he's feeling allegedly, allegedly, allegedly that um, she wants to go everywhere with these kids around the world and sometimes in like war torn dangerous areas of the world and he just didn't agree with it because he felt like he she was using the children as a pawn to get in the un even deeper and get her seat there i don't know this is alleged y'all this is all alleged and i just feel for the children i never like the fact when people in their marriages for whatever reason because at some point they loved each other right oh gosh moving along woo 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 that hit a little tinge in my heart mm, i'm supposed to be putting on my face too i'm not gonna do too much with my face y'all next up y'all if y'all know about 50 cent y'all know he love he is the king of internet beefing because like he goes so far He'd be like, dog, that was too far 50. And then he'll come back with like um, kids on his page and be like, you know, but I'm the good guy. So you guys know that 50 Cent has this show called Power. I haven't watched it yet. And I really want to watch it because everybody's saying it's good. Um, it's like the more adult version of Empire. In my opinion, I feel like Empire does push buttons. But because it's on like primetime television, they can't be so rated aura they have to be pg-13 like real disney with it like if somebody about to get smacked in the face they're gonna bust out in a song like i'm about to smack you in the face you know like one of those moments it's got to be like so calculated that it isn't so um what's the word violent as it seems i mean if somebody smack you in the face when they sing and it ain't that bad is it i'll wait there's receipts for this madness too because 50 Cent and his ex-girlfriend, Vivica Fox, are always going back and forth. Vivica says something about 50. You guys haven't been around. Do you guys know this stuff? 50 and Vivica Fox dated maybe, what, like 10 years ago? It seems like so far back. Correct me if I'm wrong. I can't even remember when they dated, but it's so long ago that I don't even know why they beefing still. Vivica Fox went on Wendy Williams' show maybe like six months ago now. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. And Wendy was bringing up the fact that Vivica did a good job on Empire and that she should know about you know hip-hop and stuff because she dated a well-known rapper 50 cent and then vivica says something like really shady like well we didn't work out because um he was a booty chaser and everybody clutched their pearls and she was like y'all didn't see him on the cover of this magazine and he was literally behind soldier boy like holding him like this and he had on the mask and it looked very much like he might be loving a man but you know hey that's his prerogative he wants to do that. But I guess 50 Cent felt some type of way. And he went in, went in on Vivica Fox. And he put up some really crazy pictures of her. Like, crazy. Y'all go check it out. It's on the internet somewhere, y'all. I digress to get to the point. A couple of weeks ago, 50 Cent went after Vivica again. I don't know why. I think it was the premiere of Empire coming up. Something in my nose. It's my nose ring. And then Taraji bit back. In a very, like, nice way saying that, you know, we're all black people. We should get along. We should support each other. Everybody can win. We don't need to tear each other down. And I have not watched the premiere of Empire, but I'm going to pull it up on my Instagram. I used to follow 50 Cent, but then he just started acting like real 50 Cent-ish. But, you know, I still, sometimes I follow him and then unfollow him and then follow him and then unfollow him. Do you have those relationships with people? Like, I just do that sometimes. So, just a few days after the season premiere of Empire... 50 Cent went on a 50 Cent rampage and was like, well, look at the bright side. At least you can eat your trophies. Cookie. I was talking to old girl, Vivica, but you felt like you had to respond. Shake my head. You know I love you, Cookie. I got a new show for you. BMF coming soon. Hashtag effing vodka. Well, Taraji saw what 50 said okay and this is what Taraji said for the confused people do real research loose change makes so much unnecessary noise Ooh, oh girl that was shade girl did you write that yourself because that was good Taraji <laughs> she said still looking for that damn sense sign I guess it's obsolete again congrats on your success black man well 
But she also said that the show Empire is doing very well. Even though the ratings are down, it met the ratings of the season finale. So most shows coming back don't get the same peak as the first time ever coming out. It's kind of like an artist with their first album. Their first album is normally their best album. And sometimes it takes them a couple of years to get back to to those rating peaks. It goes over us viewers heads, but it makes a lot of sense, which is why they are still on TV and people still love Empire. I love Empire, I'm a fan, and I'm still gonna go over and support 50s. I'm like Vivica, why can't we all just support each other in the success of everything? I don't get it. But I feel like that's just a way for 50 to create drama so that other people will go and watch his show. Like, of course, I mean, there's no such thing in the industry in the industry, there is this quote which says, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Publicity is publicity, which is why drama sells. Beefs sell, okay? They attract people and people do it for that reason, okay? It's all plotted out, you know? We know what you're doing. What else is going on? Oh, I will have a vlog up today. I get kind of like behind on vlogs. I get backlog and since everyone was sick last week, I didn't get to edit how I wanted to. I know this goes completely over y'all's heads, but you guys will probably see like multiple vlogs go up in one day. So just make sure you hit that notification sign or wherever it is on the, I think it's next to the subscribe button. Hit the notification so that you get those notifications to see that when the vlogs go up or any video uploads. And, Last time I was in here doing my makeup and you guys pointed out that I didn't name the second lipstick. This is the, the base coat that I put on. It's very neutral and matte. It's um, NYX Lingerie Lingerie. How you doing, girl? Beauty Mark. This is Beauty Mark. I have it on right now. It probably looks like Supernatural. You can't even tell. Supernatural scary like that TV show. Oh my gosh. Second one is NYX Liquid Suede. It's still a matte, creamier matte. It doesn't feel all dry on your lips like toast. This one is called Soft Spoken. Really cute, really neutral, but you definitely want like something, a base or something that goes over. Otherwise you just have like pink lips and I mean it's cute, but that's your thing, girl. Go ahead and do it, girl. Your best friend gonna love it anyway because I love you you love me, okay? Mm, what else? What else is going on in the world, y'all? Are you guys voting? Are you guys registered voters? I'm a registered voter, although I don't know how I feel about this election, but we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. It makes me upset. I feel bamboozled from both parties. I really do. I don't know what's going on, but I am going to vote. I got a Snapchat question. Miss V, tell us, how do you do it all? The kids, giving them attention, <laughs> how do you do it? Girl, best friend. Best friend, that was from Yaya on Snapchat. Check out Yaya Snapchat, y'all. It's Y-A-Y-A. -A. You know what? With a whole cup of Jesus and patience. Like, I really have to muster up every bit of patience that I can and sleep. Sleep, patience, and prayer. For real. And just trying to be the best mom that I can be in my situation. Sometimes I feel like I'm not enough, like I'm not doing enough, like I and I like I don't have enough, or like where I'm not where I want to be at in life. But um, I can honestly say, you know, I can't speak this morning. I think that that is everyone's um, common denominator in their brains and I'm not the only one who feels that way we always want to be a step ahead we always want to um finally be fulfilled in life and there they go right there they're fighting yeah girl. yeah yeah girl so um I don't know just staying positive with with being a mom you really have to enjoy having your children find uh different ways to have fun equally with your children and you'll be okay you know i try i try my best i really do i, I try my best but i am gonna put the twins in i'm trying to figure out how will my ponytail to go today y'all i'm gonna put the twins in daycare at least twice out the week because i am working on 
I'm always cautious about when I tell y'all what I'm working on because sometimes y'all don't see it and then it looks like she's not, you know, being up right and forward. But I kind of just like to slam it down on y'all and be like, there you go. Okay. <laughs> kind of like um, the Valencia wig with uh, Miss Tony Daly. That was something that we've uh, been plotting and planning on, but I just didn't share it with y'all. I want it to be like a surprise. So I'll let this other situation be a surprise as well before I say anything. But yeah, I want to put them in the daycare. <laughs> um, at least like twice out the, out the week, maybe like on a Monday or Wednesday or whatever. However, you know, so yeah, girl. Momming, let me see if I got anything. Thanks for sending me that snap, though. You beautiful girl. Let's see. Who is this? So where is that man at? This is my sister. Have I seen him? Be on the phone talking to him now. <laughs> that was my sister, y'all. We have crazy conversations on Snap. Love it. Anywho, I hope that you guys have a very wonderful Monday, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this coffee talk and makeup time with me and there will be more i'm trying to get back in the flow of doing this like i say october will be coffee talk every day before the vlogs go up if you guys have been rocking with me for a very long time you guys know i used to do coffee talk every day before the vlogs and it's going to be coming back with the coffee mug um starting in October. I am just obsessed with my poof back here, y'all. Look, she got a little hang time. But I don't think I'm going to wear it down. I think I'm going to like just put it back in a bun or something to keep it from getting like super frizzy. I got a big head. I got a big old head, y'all. I'm going to put it back in a bun like this. So that the hang time. But yeah, girl, yeah, girl. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm saving y'all from my forehead today. Jesus. I don't know, she like to headbutt people. I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. And I will talk to you later. Mm -hmm.